um, to access the forest where we work um, here in uh, Panama, uh, we have to use dugout canoes because uh, there's no way to get there by road. So to come here, we did uh, three hours of car, five hours of dugout canoe, and then three hours of walk. And all in all, we're quite lucky because this is a, a quite nearby camp. We're here to measure uh, forest carbon. The tree carbon is a function of its height, its diameter, and the content of carbon of its wood. In theory, it should be simple to measure the diameter of a tree. It's because the trees are very tall, we find all sorts of very imaginative ways to get up there and measure these diameters. Quite challenging, as you see. So one of the biggest challenges to measure forest carbon is to estimate the height of a tree. And as you could see, it's not a small challenge then to measure this height and to determine um, where is actually the top of a tree when you stand below it. Hi, my name is Gerardo. I'm a PhD student at Pont Vence Lab. Uh, Today we are here at Carnegie Institution for Science in the campus of Stanford University in California. And today we will learn about LiDAR and how LiDAR can be a useful tool for measuring trees. LiDAR is an instrument that emits laser pulses, and in this case we use an aircraft to send down lasers. And the laser essentially bounces around in the forest and comes back up to the instrument on the aircraft and we get a nice ranging of distances, where leaves are, where branches and tree crowns are, and so forth. In many ways, this uh, LiDAR can be compared to those devices that the police use for measuring uh, speed limits when we are in a car. One of the reasons that Carnegie uses LiDAR to improve uh, carbon stock estimates is that we can cover so much more ground with LiDAR than we can on the ground. So, for example, right here we're looking at a map of Peru in which uh, we were able to fly tens, even hundreds of thousands of hectares per day in order to estimate carbon stocks in the forest. By comparison, uh, even the best field censuses in the world take many months to do something like 50 hectares worth of field sampling. We're working uh, in some tropical forests of Panama under the SWAT that were collected by a Carney institution. We're working in indigenous territories of Panama with local technicians who measure the carbon. In this way, we can uh, use the best technology for measuring forest carbon stock with local people in a, in a participatory uh, approach.